All right. So in this episode right here, we are going to be continuing from what we were doing in the previous episode, which is CRUD operations. So in this episode, we are going to be uh, allowing uh, our user to edit the post and delete the individual posts that we have laid out over here. What we're going to do is uh, have the edit button in here and the delete button. And when we click on the edit, it's going to go back to the form. The form is already going to have the data that we have here filled in because it's loading an existing record from the database to fill out the form. And then we can change it to whatever we want, hit save, and it's going to update the record in the database. So we're going to be implementing the edit and update action in our controller. Let's start by going into our text editor here. Uh, so in the previous episode, we did the new and the create action. And in this episode, we're just going to be covering the edit and the update. So def uh, edit. And here we are. So post equals post dot where. Uh, and then here, we need to pass it an ID so that it can find the record that we selected. How are we going to do that? Let's take a look in the rake routes. So if I head over to the rake routes over here, I'll see edit post takes an argument. Anytime you see this thing over here in the URL pattern, uh, it means that we can pass it uh, an argument and it's going to use that argument uh, here in this path. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look. So I'm gonna go into the text editor. Uh, I'm gonna comment out the edit for now. And in the post, so this is the individual post partial as I mentioned in the previous episodes. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a link. So I'm gonna do a P. And here uh, we are going to um, do a link to edit and edit post path uh, edit. No, sorry, post. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us the edit link uh, for our post. There we go. And if you hover on top, so if you see, you know, in the bottom left hand corner, we can see the number two. So that's the ID, the primary key ID uh, from the database. And it allows us to, you know, uh, edit the, the actual post, like reference it in the, in the, in the view. Uh, and then we can send that as an argument, as a parameter in the controller. And we can use a controller parameter to load up that object. So let's go into our controller over here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to comment this out here. And the here we're going to use ID params ID dot first. So this is going to load the post. Uh, so if I go back to the browser here and I click this button, it's going to load the post with the ID two from the database uh, so that we can we can edit it. Okay, uh, so we have that and that's all we need from the edit action. Uh, the next thing we are going to need to do uh, is implement the edit view. So here we're gonna create a view called edit.html.erb. Now essentially, uh, the content is gonna be exactly the same as the new, uh, over here, the new uh, view. And so what we can do is we can extract all of this, uh, this content out into a partial called form. So we're gonna do this, just that, form.html.erb. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move all the form content out into the form and then we're going to reference it here. So render form. And we can do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. Now the reason why I'm not putting this in the form is because uh, we may want to have different formatting for the edit or for the for the new one. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Uh, but if you want, you can move it into the form partial as well. But I, I think this is fine for now. So I'm going to stick with this. Okay, so if we head back to here, do a reload, uh, I'm going to hit edit. There we go. We have rendered the form with the exact same code we have from the new action by using partials. Great. So now all we have to do is let's actually take a look at the inspect element here. Um, so we can see here, this is now, uh, the action has now changed because this is an, an edit action. We're editing an existing record. It's not the same as when we had uh, the, the new form. 
Um, so Rails recognizes that this object that we're loading, uh, you know, over here, this is a new object that has not been persisted. So it needs to go to the create action. So the form helper does all this for us without us having to do anything. And, uh, you know, here we're loading an existing object from the database. So it realizes that when you pass that object into here in the form helper, that's how it recognizes, you know, which path it needs to render here for the action. And if we take a look here, the method might say post, but if we take a look over here, there is an input with a hidden uh, method with patch. Now let's take a look at the routes. Patch with the post ID uh, path like this maps to the update action. So let's go ahead and implement the update action in our controller. So here we have update uh, post equals post dot where ID params ID first. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the same, um, you know, parameters, strong parameters over here. Uh, so we're going to do if post.update attributes, post params, then we redirect to post path. And if it fails for whatever reason, we can render the form again. All right, so this looks good. This should work. Um, so now we're just, uh, you know, using the update attributes method, which comes with active record, and we're going to pass in the new parameters from the form. And uh, that's going to update our record for us. Let's try it out. So I'm going to go back over here, close this out. And I'm going to say, you know, uh, the hello again, I'm going to say, yay, we just edited post. Hit save. And if we go down here, there we go. Hey, yay, we just edited the post. Now I'm gonna do a quick tweak over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, order this, um, this, this list of posts to you know, show the updated at first so that you know, when we're playing around, we, we can see at the top the one that we just updated. Uh, so I'm gonna go into the post index and what we're going to do is order updated at DESC. So if I hit reload now, the one we just edited, the last came up first. All right, so um, in this case, we don't actually need the all anymore. This should work just fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, so the next thing we're going to do, um, you know, I know I said that we're gonna do edit and update, but let's do the destroy as well. So if we look at the routes over here, we have the delete method that will, you know, actually destroy, uh, will map to the destroy action in our controller. So I'm gonna go over here and then basically do a def destroy. And post equals post dot where id params id dot first if post dot destroy then redirect to post path else. Uh, so yeah, destroy can fail as well. You know, um, sometimes you have certain validations or references you do not want to, uh, you do not want to violate. Um, you know, like, you know, the objects can have children. So, um, you know, it can fail. So in this case, you know, we're going to handle that, you know, separately from this video. But here we have the destroy action. So how do we do the destroy link? Uh, well, let's take a look. So if we uh, do the post path, you know, it looks a lot like the the edit post. Um, you know, like we, we it looks a lot like this post path where we do the show action. Um, so what we need to do is specify the method so that it uses the delete, the delete and so that it actually maps to the destroy action in our controller. So I'm gonna head over here and what I'm gonna do is um, go into the post partial and I'm gonna add a link here link to destroy post method delete. So that should work. I'm gonna head over here. There we go, we have a destroy button. So we can also do something like this, post path post. Uh, but if we just put the post object, we just pass it the post object, the link to helper is gonna recognize that, oh, we just wanna link to the individual post uh, in this case, not like, you know, the by, by, default, like the show page. 
Um, just for consistency's sake, we can talk a little bit about all these uh, fancy magic later, but let's let's keep it consistent for now. All right, if I do a reload, I'm gonna get a link over here. And if I do an inspect element, um, it's going to give us the you know data method delete over here because we added this extra attribute over here. All right, so let's try out our delete action, our destroy action. So I'm gonna delete the last post here, destroy, and it's gone, destroy, and it's gone. Great, um, so we have one last action we need to implement, and that is the show page. So let's go ahead and do that, uh, since I don't think this video is that long yet, uh, def show, and here we're gonna do post equals post dot where, uh, ID params ID first. And the, you know, the show page is where, you, uh, when you click on a, when you have a link and you click on the title, it goes to the page where you can actually read the entire article. So the, the index action is like, you know, you can see the blurb, like the, the synopsis of the, of the blog post, you click on the post and then you go to the full page of that post. That's, so that's what the show page is. So, uh, what we're going to do is in the post, let's first implement the show page. So since we don't have any actual um, content yet, uh, we're just going to do something like this, post.title. Close out the H1. And then we're going to have the, we're going to have the, the body of the, so let's that, put that in a P tag, post.body, close it out. And uh, yeah, so now we have implemented the show view and the show action. Uh, the next thing is we just need to link it up. So here we can actually use a link to on the title and post path post, just like that. And so now we can click on a post and go to the full post, post uh, page and we can read the post. And you can see here it shows the ID of the post that we're referencing as well. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys found that useful. Uh, leave any comments in the area below. And if there's anything you're stuck on, I'm going to try and help you guys out. Uh, see you guys in the next one.